Well, some cooler air is headed our way tomorrow, but there's more heat building out west that could move into northeast Ohio sometime next week. Here's meteorologist Jeff Tanchek. First alert, meteorologist Jeff Tanchek with you here. Okay, so let's talk about the... Uh kind of like the long, longer term here, uh, the extended. I'm going to show you something that you're going to see on this map. Now, we know we're in for a warming trend starting this weekend. Next week looks, you know, a lot warmer than what it's been around here. But there's one thing we're, we're watching uh, where we could stay out of the serious heat here uh, that the team will be watching. Now, uh, in the meantime, we have this cold front coming through tomorrow night. Uh, and we're going to continue to uh, follow that here. There's a cooler pocket of air uh, that's going to settle in here, uh, dropping out of the northwest through the Great Lakes. See this little trough here? Uh, this is Thursday, so potentially highs below 80 and less humid. But look at what is uh, developing out to the west here. All that heat that you've, that you've been hearing about out west, well, a lot of it is going to start to shift east here. Uh, Friday looks fantastic. Boy, oh boy, if I had to pick a winner, uh, that'll be Friday uh, with the sunshine. Now, over the weekend, things are going to continue to heat up, but look at this uh, little L here. There's a weak upper level low. Uh, it looks like right now, according to the latest guidance, could be over St. Louis on Sunday uh, here, and watch what happens to it. Now, Sunday is going to be pretty warm here, but notice how it kind of eases towards us early next week. Now, if this verifies, that could potentially keep us unsettled and not as hot. You can see next Tuesday, higher heat east, higher heat out to the west. So that's one thing that uh, we'll be watching. You look at the end of the month and start of August here, a lot of the country hot. Northern Plains, Great Lakes, 84, the average high here. And as far as the long range precipitation outlook dry out west in the Rockies. And I think uh, because of this, that little upper level low I showed you here, potentially uh, a little above normal here, especially in southern Ohio.